Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. I am Sue from OML Embroidery. Today we are working in Hatch, a new um, embroidery program by Wilcom. So all the power of Wilcom in an easy to use form and something that uh, you can afford. And so far, uh, it's absolutely awesome. I found out something really cool. Um, today we're talking about lettering and I found something really cool today about lettering that not a lot of embroidery pro programs have. And it's right here, insert character. And you may wonder what that means, but that's for glyphs. And a lot of programs and even graphic programs, you have to use something called Babel to bring it all up. And there's these little itty bitty tiny things and you can hardly see what you're doing. This makes it a lot easier. So for those people that are in love with the Samantha font and they want ligatures and they want swirly things, how do you do it? It's usually pretty difficult to come up with it until now. And really seriously, it's awesome. So let's just do some lettering. So you type in the lettering. Now, by the way, I just, I wanted lettering. So I found lettering and monogramming. I twirled it down, clicked on lettering, and this is what pops open. And there are literally a million things to do here. Um, and we're gonna go over them. But for this video, we're just talking about the insert character. So what does that do? Okay, let's click on it, let's find out. Now, these are all of your extra characters that are that come with the font. Now this one is um, a pre-digitized font, so of course it's gonna be perfect. And the program comes with quite a few of them. And you see you have these little symbols and accents um, on all the letters, and these are pre-digitized, so it's absolutely awesome. But what if you wanted to use your favorite um, TTF or OTF font? I guess it would be TTF because we're um, PC. You can go down, now see this red squiggly line? That designates that it's a pre-digitized font. And we wanna go down here to where it says TT. And these are all the fonts that are already loaded on your computer. So they're true type fonts. So you can use them in Photoshop, Illustrator, any programs like that. And you can also use them in here. Now the rule is with true type fonts, not all of them work. Not all of them translate very well into embroidery. And you can kind of pick out some of the ones, you could try them, but you know some of the ones that are really small, or I saw one up here, um, one like this, Bronx. It, it will work, but you can even see just on the little diagram here and everyone notice please that it changed to my lettering so you can actually see what it's going to look like but ones like this you can do them really big you just really can't do them small same with the bloody one which is great for halloween it has to be big enough to make it work and it doesn't always work so try to be careful and uh, not resize them too much and just kind of take them for what they're worth here so let's find one, let's change it. What did I found one that had some pretty good, pretty good results. I think it was Stonehenge and I kind of, kind of like a Celtic, um, Celtic font. Let's make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see. So that looks to me like it digitized out very well. I love the shape of the lettering. All the satin stitches are really nicely done. It looks beautiful. So that is a true type font that actually works. So let's see what characters it has. And you go down here. And this is another thing that's cool with this insert character. You don't have to stick with the font that you've picked. If you want to insert a character from another font, you can do this. You can do this, and I think that's awesome. You can mix and match a little bit. You can really get some really sweet effects. The other thing I really like is that it's so big. In the other programs and the ones that come with PC, all the extra characters are really tiny, and it's really hard to figure out. What I did there is just show as outlines and show that's the 3D with the stitches on it. And look through here. These are all the letters. These are the small letters. Now we're getting to the fancy fonts. So the R, 
the backwards U, different languages, different things, ligatures. You'll be able to find the swashes and the ligatures and all of the accents. They're all there. There's some French ones, um, different symbols, different everything. Now, these are up to whoever created the true type font. So they'll have some and they'll not have other ones. Uh, it just really depends on how they're digitized. I know, for example, the famous uh, Samantha font has probably a hundred different ones and it has all the fancy swirlies for the letters. And you just, again, it's really hard to do. It's really hard to figure out. Um, this is absolutely fantastic. So stylized quotes. And all you have to do is click on it. And if you look down right here, you can see that they're right there. Let's do another, let's do a trademark. Click OK and it shows up there and it shows up here. And that's all there is to it for adding glyphs and uh, fancy different things to your lettering using stuff that's already there. And I really think that's probably one of the sweetest embroidery features that I have seen in a long time. So fancy up your lettering, do some typography, and don't forget to insert the characters. And that, my friends, is how you do fancy typography here inside Hatch Embroidery Software. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. Let me know that you want more by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and I'll get more videos out for you guys. Thanks.